Good morning, third graders. Today is the day we start our distance learning today. So make sure that you log into our homeroom, Google Classroom, and answer the question of the day so I can take attendance. The question of the day today is super easy. I know that you've answered it in music class before. So the question of the day today is, what's your favorite animal? So please go into our homeroom class, answer the questions, and I'll mark you as present or here at school today. Um, for Women's History Month, we are learning about Ella Fitzgerald today. She looks like this. Ella Fitzgerald is the first lady of jazz, so she was a musician, a singer to be precise, I guess. Let's read a little bit about her. Ella Fitzgerald, known as the first lady of song, and Lady Ella was an immensely popular American jazz and song vocalist who interpreted much of the great American songbook. Who was Ella Fitzgerald? Ella Fitzgerald turned to singing after a troubled childhood and debuted at the Apollo Theater in 1934. Discovered in an amateur contest, she went on to become the top female jazz singer for decades. In 1958, Fitzgerald made history as the first African-American woman to win a Grammy Award. Due in no small part to her vocal quality, with lucid intonation and a broad range, the singer would go on to win 13 Grammys in total and sell more than 40 million albums. Her multi-volume songbooks on Verve Records are among America's recording treasures. She was born in 1917, Newport News, Virginia. She was the product of a common-law marriage to William Fitzgerald and Tempress Tempe Williams Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald experienced a troubled childhood that began with her parents separating shortly after her birth. And then both of her parents died before she reached adulthood. So that was another troubling thing about Ella Fitzgerald's past. Um, another interesting thing, an important thing about Ella Fitzgerald was it said that she debuted at the Apollo Theater in 1934. So slavery was abolished in the 1860s and there was still a lot of racism in the United States by 1934. And an important thing about Ella Fitzgerald is that she really brought white people and African Americans of the time together because they all really loved her music. So her music brought people together, people who usually wouldn't mix during that time period. So Ella Fitzgerald is really significant and a cool woman to learn about. Again, make sure that you log into our classrooms, Google Classroom, Homeroom, and answer the question, what is your favorite animal? And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.